Prior to the Brexit referendum back in June, conventional wisdom from many sources seemed to suggest that a decision by the UK to leave the EU would be catastrophic, that it would push the UK into a recession and, and cause all kinds of upheaval. In fact, the opposite has turned out to be true, and it's starting to show up in the markets as well. Since the uh, the Brexit vote, we've seen the UK was strong into the vote. It had a little bit of a lull for a few weeks till the leadership got sorted out. And since then, the UK economy has absolutely taken off. It's been outperforming Europe. We've seen the UK trade balance shrink. We've seen the economy do really well. On the other hand, it turns out that it's the EU that had a lot more to worry about. The EU's economy has stagnated over the summer. Trade surpluses for Germany and other countries are starting to shrink. And, and the EU also seems to have be in a bit of disarray with uh, more re recently uh, Italian Prime Minister Monti calling out some of his other colleagues over budgets and, and uh, also discussions on, on various ways of how they're going to deal with the UK. So we're seeing the EU start to, to go into uh, tumult and, and disarray. So And that's starting to play out in the markets. And where I've seen it most recently here is in the DAX. And if we look here, through the first half of this year, the DAX and the FTSE were trading pretty close to each other. Then after the Brexit vote, the, the sterling came down and the FTSE took off. Now that was expected because a lot of the companies in the FTSE are multinationals and therefore when the pound got knocked down they got marked down relative to their peers so the stocks have outperformed but the stocks have continued to outperform even into September here where we've had a bit of a correction. We've seen, though, in the last few days that the, the FTSE has started to perk up and outperform again. The DAX has continued to retreat. And I think people are starting to see that the UK is looking like it could outperform the EU in the coming months. We're also seeing that in the euro-pound currency pair where we had seen the euro dramatically outperform through uh, immediately following the uh, the UK vote but uh, over the last few weeks it's actually starting to form a top the most of the ga gains were back right in late June and early July but look at this since then we've had a left shoulder here in early July we've had a head in August and now this recent rebound in, in euro pound looks to me like it's forming the right shoulder of a head and shoulders top look at this huge negative divergence here in the RSI and a continued lower high. This tells me that upward momentum for the euro relative to the pound peaked back in late June when it got really overbought and since then upward momentum has been fading. Momentum is turning back in favor of sterling. So we're seeing here resistance about 86. First support in this 85 to uh, 84.60 area around this 23% retracement level and around the 50-day moving average.